What's going on, guys? Welcome to another Vintage Cube Draft. Uh, another stipulation we're going to do here. This one is a little bit interesting. It is take the best card in the pack, disregarding deck building. Personally, I like black cards, they mentioned. Um, but uh, this could be a little tricky because I don't know how high... I guess it's really subjective. And this first pick is pretty easy. It's probably Time Walk. That is probably the best card in the pack. Oh, boy. So I'm definitely taking the time walk. <laughs> um, I don't know how high lands would go though, so it's it's totally subjective because, yeah, you can definitely people you can gift subs, who can't gift subs. Um, but it's a totally subjective tip. Like some people think bribery, like swords to plowshares might be a better card than bribery. I don't think so in this cube. And also, is it based on cube, or is it based on deck in general? Oh, or, oh, yeah, this is tricky. See, I think we already have some distinct, some, some, some distinctions, some, not distinctions, but dis uh, disagreements here, maybe? I think it's bribery. I think bribery is the best card. I think it's based on it's got to be based on the cube, and I think in a vacuum, bribery is the best card. I'm gonna go with bribery. Uh, best card. I don't think it's in tomb. I think it might be metamorph. I don't think it's deluge, land tax, sulfuric vortex. I think metamorph is probably better than control magic. Thank you. Adrenaline bomb. Thank you so much for the sub. Saber, thank you so much for the gifted sub. Really appreciate it. Which is funny, though, because you're not subbed. Either way, thank you so much for the gifted sub. Really appreciate it. Yeah, I think it's Metamorph. And I, I you guys, if you want to help me out with this as well, because then we can kind of get a consensus, I think that's easier. You can justify almost any pick. This is actually a tricky one. I should have actually... This was by Unease Joker, and I think I should have gone over the uh, qualifications a little bit better. Not yet, few days. <laughs> what does that even mean? Either way, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Oh, Force of Will is probably the best card, right? Or Worm Coil Engine? I don't think in a vacuum, Natural Order is the best card. Maybe. Because what if I went, like, what if I just hid the cards that, that are down here? How small can I make these? Real small? I think F Force of Will might be, I think Worm Coil is probably the best card. I think it's probably the best card. It's also colorless, so it doesn't care about. It's not these. It's none of these. It's not these. I think it's between Natural Order Force and Worm Coil. I think in the cube, Worm Coil is probably the strongest card. I can pull the window down, but then it messes with the... I guess it wouldn't because they're already... They already fit, so... We can pull this down and be like... Alright, now we just have to pick... Uh, why don't you just build a deck and do the step once you have more detail? Um... Well, because we're already committed to it now. And also, I don't know when I'll have more details. Like, I don't want to... I don't have a way to message them outside of, like, Twitch. And, uh... Is anyone joining for the alternating blind step pick this cube? You pick what you pick while guest closes. No, not yet. That is a sweet one, though. All right. Best card in this pack. Is it Baleful Strix? God, I feel like I'm constantly drafting blue black, though, and I'm not thrilled about it. However, they did say they like black. So. Marsh Flats might be the best card in this pack. I don't think Sundering Titan is the best... I don't think it's the best card in this pack, though. I think it's the strongest creature in this pack. I definitely don't think it's the best card. I think it's Flats. I think Marsh Flats is the best card in this pack. Best card in this pack? This is a... Cra it's got to be Crater Hoof, right? Yeah. 
My card evaluation is killing you. Well, I only have one Pro Tour Top 8, so unfortunately, I still have a lot to learn, I guess. It's definitely Crater Hoof. I think Crater Hoof is a better card than Plow Under. I think an argument can definitely be made for Emrakul, but I think uh, pound for pound, Crater Hoof is a stronger creature. And they did say di disregarding deck building, so... Strongest card in this pack. Kodama's Reach? Abrupt Decay? Banishing Light, maybe? I don't think Thief is the strongest card in the pack. Woodfall Primus is strong. I don't know if it's the strongest card in this pack. I definitely don't think it's one of these two. I think it's probably Abrupt Decay. I mean, it could be Reach. I could see Reach being strong. Like, Reach was on my on my list. Um, I think Living Death is the strongest card in this pack. Or Breeding Pool. I could see Breeding Pool being... I mean, Shocklands are just super strong. Yeah, I think it's Living Death here. Strongest card. Bargain is probably the strongest card in this pack. <laughs> um Yeah, I think it's I think it's your I think it's Yogmoss Bargain here. Strongest card in this pack. I'm not happy about it being bargain either. Yeah, Sage is good, but it's not it's not Yogmoss Bargain good. Can't see your picks. That is correct. That is because we're doing a stip right now. I think Beast Within is probably the strongest card in this pack. Yeah, I think that's... Or, or it could have been Gideon, Gideon Jura. I think Jura and Beast Within are both very, very strong. Beast Within kills everything. Land tax, obviously the strongest card in this pack. Um, Thalia is probably the strongest card in this pack. Ah, uh, Oblivion Ring. Uh, Avison's probably a stronger card. And Banishing Light, that's actually pretty good. Strongest card in the pack. Shut up and take my money. Archer, alternating picks, stop this. Stop with whoever is your next guest. Love it. Hey, Archer, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Let me uh, add that to the list. All right. Really appreciate the support. Oh, it's obviously channel. I didn't even see the channel. Wow, I was like, is it a godless shrine? No, it's definitely channel. Yeah, that's easily the strongest card in that pack. Okay. Now I wish we took the Emrakul over the Crater Hoof, but uh, if we did that... Tinker is probably the strongest card in this pack, but I don't think it goes well with our deck. But I don't think we can actually care about things like that. Is 
It could just be Bird of Paradise, actually. Bird is very strong. It's either Tinker or Bird, I think. I don't think it's Lion's Eye Diamond. I don't think Lion's Eye Diamond is actually a strong card. I think it's just actually a misleading card. Like it's it's very niche. It's not uh it's not just a generally strong card. Trophy does kill anything, but I don't think that makes it a, a stronger card than Tinker. I think it makes it more versatile card. Don't confuse strength with versatility. It's Tinker, don't be greedy. I feel like taking the Tinker is almost the greedy thing. Is Ulamog the strongest card in this pack? I think it's actually Ulamog. I don't think Steam... I think Steam is, is is good. I don't know if it's stronger than Ulamog, though. I'm going to take the Ulamog. This is a nice dig through time. Dig through time seems like the strongest card in this pack, especially because it was banned in, or restricted in multiple formats, including modern, uh, vintage, and standard. So that's a pretty good argument for a uh, for a card to be strong. Uh, Eureka and Kozilek, very interesting. I would love some fixing because I really have no idea what we're looking at right now. I think we have black, green, blue, and white. It's funny that red cards are never the strongest card in the pack. I think it's either, it's one of these two. Uh, can you possibly drag the lineup so we can... No, the reason that's very deliberate that I'm doing that because I don't want to be influenced by my previous picks. You guys think it's Eureka, huh? All right, we can take Eureka. Uh, the, the stipulation is disregarding deck building. Pick the most powerful card in the pack and... I do not want to be influenced by previous picks when I pick the strongest card. So, Tamiya is definitely not the strongest card. I think it's either Vindicate or Mana Flare here. No, no problem. E5 Bishop, no worries. Yuri is definitely not bad. <laughs> like, I don't. It's, uh. Not a huge Grim Tutor fan. I don't think it's definitely the strongest card. I think Vindicate's probably the strongest card. Strongest card? Probably Progenitus. Stoneforge Mystic is an option. But I think we're talking about in the cube. Like, I think it's... I could see Shielder being an option, too. I think it's one of these two. Draga Tree Speaker also very good. Oh, man. Yeah, all right, we can take Tree Speaker. I think that's. I think there's definitely an argument to be made for Draga Tree Speaker being one of the strongest cards there. We do have one more pack, right? Yeah, we have 22 cards. Yeah, all right, cool. Progenitus does die to Wrath Effects. Or you can Toxic Deluge for 10 and kill it that way as well. <sighs> strongest card in the pack. Survival of the Fittest? Uh, it's, no, it's not in the vacuum. It's in the cube. Because otherwise it'd be really ridiculous. Because then you'd be taking things like... I don't know. Goblin... Like, I don't know. It's... it's it's No, it has to be in the cube. Because otherwise you're not gonna... You're not gonna have a, any anywhere near the correct evaluations. Hmm. This, 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 this pack's pretty... I think Leovold's probably the strongest card in this pack. And I'm... Obviously inclined to say that for obvious reasons. <laughs> oh, Assassin's Trophy came back. So did Mirari's Wake. I think Mirari's Wake might be stronger than Assassin's Trophy, actually. I think it is. I think I think Mirari's Wake is significantly stronger than Assassin's Trophy. Historically and currently. I may I may audible and take some lands in the last pack because I don't think our deck is gonna be playable without them. Hmm. 
Sun Titan probably the strongest card in this pack. Stips usually always have a fixing clause. It wasn't mentioned, so I'd hope it'd be okay. I think Wall of Omens is stronger than Shardless Agent here. Maybe? Actually, maybe it's Shardless Agent. Oh, I think Condemn is the strongest card in this pack. Linvala is probably stronger than Mute Vault. Sure. I think there's also a couple directions we can go with this deck as well. I think we figured out the strongest card in this pack. So uh, I think it's I think it's this one. We're gonna take this one. I think it's this one. We're gonna take this one. <laughs> All right, so these these two have been simple. Mm, ancestral and uh and to mana drain. Um, probably buy you. I think a dual land is probably the strongest card in this pack. Pack rats. I can definitely make an argument for pack rat, but not only is Bayou a dual land. Um, we're gonna actually. I wish I knew how much black we had. I can look. We don't have that much black. We might not even play black. It might just be Bant. Bant seems good. Maybe it's Mana Confluence then. We have no fixing. I, we're not even going to have a playable deck, which is going to make this draft miserable if we don't take it. I'm just going to take the Mana Confluence. Oh, we did have a Bayou though. Or we had a Marsh Flats. Elspeth definitely seems like the strongest card in this pack. Definitely, I definitely think it's, uh, I definitely think it's Elspeth. Yeah, I think Confluence is right, but our friend said, like, Black, sure, right, well, Mana Confluence makes Black Mana, so... Scrubland is actually very, very good here. Uh, Treachery is probably the strongest card in this pack. Not really close, I don't think. Uh, I like Scrubland because we can get it with Marsh Flats. But I guess if we're, we can also get a Plains with Marsh Flats. Um, so I think it's either Scrubland. If we're gonna go, if we're gonna get some lands, it's Scrubland. It's Treachery. Yeah, Academy is great, guys. But we actually have two artifacts in our deck, so I don't know what we're gonna. We're like, you want us to pick a card that literally can't even tap for mana in our deck? That's just weird. Like, let's try to get a playable deck, and we'll take either Treachery or Scrubland, and I think it's actually Scrubland here. It's probably Treachery. We're taking the Treachery. Stip is sort of like actively telling us to ignore a playable deck. I don't think that's true at all. Tundra is actual perfect, especially with the Marsh Flats. I don't even think any of these cards are better than Tundra. Maybe Caracas, but I, I don't even think so. Yeah, definitely taking Tundra here. That's actually great.
Temple Garden. All right, so now we're getting a bunch of good lands, which is nice. Temple Garden is our color. So we're, if we're Bant, we got we have uh, Temple Garden, Mana Confluence, Marsh Flats, and Tundra. And Marsh Flats can hit all of these colors, which is just fantastic. So. Missing Quagmire. Ancient Tomb is pretty strong here. Colorless, colorless card in our three-color deck is pretty pretty rough, though, I think. I wish that Bayou would come back, because then our Marsh Flats can get a Bayou, but I have my doubts. I don't think we're playing black, so... Probably just going to take the Ancient Tomb. Oh, Botanical Sanctum. That actually seems great for us. Botanical Sanctum it is. I don't think top is very strong. I think top is actually hot garbage unless you have like Terminus or Bonfire or Entreat the Angels, which isn't actually in the cube. Eh, any of these cards strong? Lightning Helix, Flame Slash. Frexian Arena, probably the strongest card. Enlightened Tutor, definitely the strongest card here. So, I'm just going to take Enlightened Tutor. We're all the villain in someone's story. Oh, a Dragonlord Ojitai came back, which I definitely think is stronger than these three guys. This is where I do the, 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 drink, the drink take. The spit take, and I'm like, what? I want to take the Boros Signet, though. I think Signet's pro eh, maybe it's Wrath of God. Wrath of God's probably strong. Eh, yeah, it's whatever. Resto probably stronger than Mystic Stink, much to my sadness. All right. Wow, Ravages of War? All right. Well, this is our crazy-looking deck. Oh, wow, I forgot we had Time Walk. So now we have Time Walk, Mana Drain, and Ancestral. <laughs> Yikes. Oh, we also have Avacyn, Ulamog, and Craterhoof for Eureka. Wow, this deck. We could, yeah, we could play. we can play Resto, too. All right, let's take out some cards that we're probably not playing. God, we didn't build our deck at all during this process. Tinker's not getting played. Arena's not getting played. We can't splash this off of a flats, unfortunately. If we got the Bayou, we definitely could have, but otherwise, no. I don't know if Survival is great, but it does give us a way to discard, like, Avacyn or Crater Hoof or Ulamog. We're going to take out the black cards. I don't think we're playing black. Dark Dwellers, I don't even know how we got that guy. I have no, I have no interest in putting a, a swamp in the deck. It's such a bad draw for most of our Linvala, Ravages of War. Take out the lands. Thirty cards now. I actually like all of these because they're great with with Eureka. So is oh man, this deck is actually really not terrible. I don't love Ancient Tomb because there are a lot of color restrictions here. What can Enlightened Tutor get? Treachery. Worm Coil, Mirari's Wake, Phyrexian Dude. We're going to take the Wrath out for now. I don't think we care about Resto either. What can we blink with Resto? Like, nothing really great. I mean, we can blink Sun Titan, I guess. Blinking Crater Hope for the Resto seems pretty insane, right? I don't think we need both of these. Um... Survival, but I don't think we're probably getting a survival. Looking at land tax. Yeah, actually, both of these are the reason I don't actually like Shardless Agent, so I will take that guy out. I think Condemn is a fine removal spell. I 
This is 26. I can see cutting, like, survival. Yeah, water sports true. That's literally what I was thinking. I don't think it's great. Like, I don't want to search for, like, a... I don't want to discard these guys because I want them to put them in play with... With whatever. Stipulation something something. Thank you so much for the stipulation. Really appreciate it. Let me see what we got here. All right. Give me one second. Let me see what this is. For some architect that doesn't have that much support, like blue aggro, green weenie, black green artifacts or something, chat can decide what they want to see. No time limit. Uh, watching almost only on YouTube anyway. Okay, appreciate it. Something, something. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. That is interesting. I like the idea of that. I like to put butter on my cracker. <laughs> I have no idea what that means. So we have three more cuts to make, which I actually think is pretty reasonable. We have a lot of expensive cards in the decks, but we actually have Derogatory Speaker, Kodama's Reach. Maybe we do want Ancient Tomb. I don't know. Ancient Tomb seems good. I don't love Resto here, but we only have eight creatures if we take out the Resto. Yeah, we're taking out Survival. I'm tempted to take out Land Tax and Enlightened Tutor. Like, Enlightened Tutor seems fine, but it doesn't seem great. Like, if you're Enlightened Tutoring for a Land Tax, you're probably already ahead. I don't think you want to Enlightened Tutor for any of these, because we don't have really cards that let us draw them. I don't know if Hoof is even that good. We have Ulamog, Avacyn, Sun Titan, Elspeth, Dragonlord, Ojitai, Treachery, Warm Cold. We have a bunch of actually. Maybe this is this actually doesn't seem like a Creator Hoof deck with only eight creatures. That actually seems good. And now we can cut one of these guys. This deck actually seems pretty decent. I kind of like Resto, though. No, I don't actually. I don't think Resto is actually that good. We can blink a Metamorph and copy something else. We can blink... If this is a Mystical Tutor instead, I'd be all over it. Because we can search for Eureka. We can search for Time Walk, Manage Rain, Ancestral. That'd be pretty insane. But we can be we can search for Treachery, which is pretty good. Cut Sun Titan? That seems a little crazy. We actually don't have anything to get back with Sun Titan, really. I don't like it, but I think it's actually a... It's actually an option. I think Linvala might be better than Restoration Angel here, to be quite honest. I actually don't hate this. I don't think Wrath is... I don't, I don't want Wrath because we have Draga Tree Speaker. I know that seems silly, especially because we have so few early creatures. Cut Wake? But we have... No, we're not doing that. You're crazy. Yeah, I think this is the deck. We're going to try it like this. Uh, some options that I can see putting back in are Wrath of God. Uh, maybe Crater Hoof. I don't think Crater Hoof, though. Could try the Leovol, but like we're just... Our mana is so restrictive right now. Like It's funny because it's like double green, double green... Want green on turn one, double blue, white, white, white. This is a this is a, a rough mana base here, boys. So all of these break even. These are one of each, or two of each rather. Two white, two blue, two green. This is all this this breaks even as well. This can get green, white, or blue. So all of those all of these are tri lands, basically. So what is this? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, four, five, six. This is eight, eight, nine. Or, yeah, 899, rather. I think this is actually okay. That seems good. And we get to play the Ancient Tomb as well. That's pretty cool. Let's 
Jesus, three to five inches of rain? Matthew, Ori, buddy. Stay safe. I don't know if that if that's if that's a relevant thing, but I don't know if you're in any danger. Huh. I'm going to keep this hand. This seems actually very good. Turn one land tax. Turn two time walk if we want. The bad thing about Temple Garden is that uh, it doesn't let us ever play manager in on turn two. Boom, 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 boom. Well, they're deciding to mulligan. Taking their time. Now, we definitely play land tax on turn one. We have no reason not to. My biggest problem is that, like, land tax on turn one on the play is just like. I mean, on any turn, really. You're just like, maybe I'll get closer. Making your way in the world. They're going to discard like Gristle Branch Shield or something actually busted. Oh, Rakdos Return, Yogmoth's Bargain. Fascinating. I actually like passing here because we can go land, time walk, and then either keep up Mana Drain or. Uh... Yeah, I'm going to pass here. I could see that. Are they not going to play anything either? Because that's hilarious. <laughs> We're just going to have like the, uh, oh, the land tax standoff. That's hilarious, dude. All right, your turn. What's my guilty pleasure food? That's a good question. Oh, man. Oh, we did it, boys. Nailed it. They're like, dang it, I guess we have to go for it now. Yes. Let's get... Uh, we're going to play land. We're probably going to play time walk this turn. Let's get one of you and one of you. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven... We're going to draw like a million cards here. We can discard Avacyn, but I don't think that's great. I don't even want a Kodama's reach here. They may reanimate it. I don't know if they got reanimation in their deck, but I think it's still Avacyn here. Could be Treachery. I don't think they're going to have creatures. Yeah, I want to get rid of Treachery. Because if we hit, like, Eureka, it's pretty good. Sure could help a lot. Wouldn't you like to get away? So now we can play this. We can pump it next turn. 
Uh, well, Seal plus Looting, but yeah, but they also have Yawgmoth's Bargain and Faithless Looting and, and Imperial Seal, which looks like Storm to me, so. Totally different archetypes. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. No, sir. Don't be doing that. Don't do me like that. So we get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 mana next turn. Well, that is unfortunate. I guess we're going to bribery here, right? Brabarbario. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Can we actually play... We can go 1, 2, 3, and then we'll have 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, we can't do both. I mean, they could also have um, a reanimate package in here, which lets us get other things. Monastery, Electromancer. Yeah, this is just 100%. Um, actually, we can get a Baral here. And then play Kodama's Reach. Which is pretty good. One, two. Yeah, we're just going to get two white here because three... Then we should be able to play Avacyn next turn, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Seems good. Yeah, I'm fine with not playing Ojitai here. I wanted a bribery to see what they have. We just have different different opinions on, on what to prioritize, that's all. What's going on, Unseen Spectre? Long time no see, buddy. Mm-hmm. Wouldn't you like to get away? Here we go. We might be dead here. I accept that. Uh, I think we should have screenshotted it. Not for the lulls, but for the actual information. <laughs> That's not even a lully thing to do. That's just smart. Sometimes you want to go where lions are diamond knows your name. Burr, burr, burr. Well, they had tendrils in the deck. Oh, that's very good. I don't think this is actually... So they have three mana. I don't think this does it. This does not seem great. They only have four actual mana right now. And they played a mountain this turn, so they can't play another land. I guess they could play Lion's Eye Diamond, which is pretty good. So they have three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, and they go Yawgmoth. But then, like, that's six mana. I mean, Yawgmoth, Yawg Bargain is going to be all of their mana right now. So, I'm, I'm curious. If this does it. Oh, Matthew, are you the hero we need, buddy? Appreciate it. Got tendrils. Yeah, the rest of their deck actually didn't look that impressive. They had like six cards. Tendrils, Regrowth, Ritual, Preordain, Night's Whisper, Brainstorm, Char, Desperate Ritual, Factor Fiction, Probe. Their only win condition looked like tendrils. And... Maybe they just get Tendrils here? So Faithless Living Tendrils is 8, that's 16. Yeah, they just kill us with Tendrils here. 3, 4, 5, 6. Maybe. Unless they don't have the mana for it. Because that would be 16, we go to 2. They have to have one more spell here? Okay. Oh, now you just tendrils us. Sure. Yep, exactsies. Wow, that's impressive. Yep, that's amazing. All right, so now we can take out a bunch of things that are pretty bad, uh, such as condemn, such as treachery, such as bribery, such as bring in Thalia, bring in banishing light. Huh. 
Our deck is not particularly well suited against Storm, unfortunately. I like Vindicate here, but I don't really like playing Vindicate. You know what I'm saying? Leovold actually might be worth it. Yeah, we can actually probably cut one, like a white source here for one Swamp, which gives us three black sources. Well, four with four with Lantax, five with Kodama's Reach. We can bring in Leovold and probably Vindicate as well. <clears throat> cut Enlightened Tutor. I don't foresee us playing that, especially when we're cutting like Treachery and... Yeah, let's do this. Let's see how this goes. rough a little rough but any black source did we not take the scrubland oh god scrubland would be so good now bayou and scrubland would have made this deck unbeatable i think because then marsh flats can get scrubland or bayou and then we can play leovold and land tag any one white source though we have a bunch of white source. i don't think this is a mall like any white source in this hand is great any black source and we play leovold Yes, we added a swamp. It'd be really funny if we didn't, because then we're just literally hoping to hit it with uh, with mana confluence, which would be pretty narrow. Well... Any white or any black is good for us. Mana Confluence would be a great draw here. But any white gets us land tax, which should be pretty good. I can't wait for the Tithe Taker from Ravnica just to make it into cubes and annoy people. Yeah, well, that guy's pretty good. Well, that's nice. Probably going to beast within that guy. It's just literally a 3-3 three, three versus a 2-2. Two, two. And then I have a ton of permanents that it's relevant against. Uh, let's make sure we targeted this correctly because my mouse is really being a piece of shit right now. on white mana or black mana worm coil engine no plays so you can see why this is like drafting the best card in a stipulation and not actually having mana to actually play your cards is it just makes the actual games unfun so we definitely should have taken bayou and scrubland because they're so high Is this it? Is this the end of our life? Tendrils, Yongmas Bargain, Char. Sure, so you have five mana, seven, eight mana, nine mana. So you have nine mana about. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're dead here. You can just go Lion's Eye Diamond. Too, too mousy? <laughs> 
I mean, the funny thing is my mouse is actually very nice. It's a Logitech MS Master. It's like a $100 mouse. I mean, it's wireless, but it's just being kind of a laggy piece of shit right now, and I have no idea why, and it's very frustrating. Like, it's, it started, like, two days ago, and I don't actually understand why. Yeah, so if they play three more spells, we're basically dead. Uh, nope, battery's not low. It's been charging. That's, <laughs> that's, uh, that's probably the first thing I'm going to check. And also, I don't think that's going to have any impact on its, on its, on its reception. Like, I don't think the, the battery doesn't have anything to do with the reception. Chat tech here to help. Oh. <laughs> Brando, appreciate it, buddy. Do you keep a microwave running under your desk? Actually, you're the second person who's asked that. Someone asked yesterday about a microwave. So, funny thing that. Yep. This is pretty rough. Because even if they cast tendrils right now, it's game. I think it just char our face first to make it extra game. That's weird. They didn't cast something else first. Like, if I have, like, gain two life, it's good. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Anyway... That was fun. But it was not fun. It was less... Do you think the percentage switch or anything was a mistake? How many games have been lost due to opponent pointing out the percentage switch? Um, no, I don't think it was a mistake. I don't think... I think it's a completely reasonable thing to do. Not reasonable, but I mean, it's, it's, it's a totally not oppressive, scary ability, so... hand is terrible if we hit double green though this hand is good i'll put this on the bottom as much as i want to copy a worm coil engine the funny thing if, as, if that enlightened tutor was a land tax i probably would have kept it but frank and lightning tutor can be a land tax i guess that's true I think it's just too much work, though. Well, then. Making your way in the world today takes everything you got. Wouldn't you like to get away? One damage. Eat it. Oh, real original. I'll be Kodama's reaching next turn, buddy. Oh, unless we draw Marari's Wake. Let's draw Marari's Wake. Marsh Flats. We don't have any landfall triggers, so I'm just going to play this. Get a white-blue. And we'll reach here. Get a, we have a million white, so we're just going to get a blue and a green here. Get them again. God, I really do wish I had a bayou and a scrub land. Both of them could be getting off, getting off of marsh flats. 
Oh, regrowth Kodama's reach, huh? Okay. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have seven mana next turn. That's good. It's a good amount. Yeah, well, this land is something else. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wormy. Worms mix worms. We should have probably played planes there because if we draw Avacyn, we're not going to be able to play it, which is super dumb. Turns out I'm ordering Calzones tonight. Nice. That is a... Yep, that's a good one. That is a good one. Well, this has gone well. They have six cards in hand. We have three. Two of ours are land. One is Eureka. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Our deck is much better than what you just saw there. I want you to know that. I kind of want the other Banishing Light in here. This is just a, just a thing we need. Uh, Eureka actually does seem pretty bad in this particular matchup. I, I, I want to live for the dream where, like, we get to Eureka and a bunch of our big things, but I don't feel like this is going to be the matchup. Wouldn't you like to get away? What you do for dinner tonight? You can join Water Sports Drew and get some calzones. I do appreciate your attitude when things aren't going well. I always put this smile. Drew, glad you glad you think so, buddy. I try to keep it. I try to keep it light. We're also doing a, a stipulation draft in the cube. Like, what, what more can you? This is a slow hand. I'm gonna mulligan this. Oh, this is a much better hand. Now we're talking. Now we. I'm gonna bottom you because you don't do anything right now. Take time with a wounded hand. Because we can actually get... Uh... I had one this week, no joke, but I mean another sound. Yeah, calzones are always great. If you're Ben Wyatt, you especially think so. I'm going to actually crack this to get a temple garden. Because I like to heal. I like to sneeze. I'm half the temple. We're going to play turn four, turn five, Ulamog. That's what we're doing. Oh, can we get something special with that? Maybe like a treachery would be nice just to have it. Drew, when I get mine, can you come by with yours and we can do that food cheers thing? <laughs> Yeah, you guys can eat. You guys can eat. Uh, you guys can eat your calzones together, like calzone bros, calbrones. Then you have to leave. <laughs> okay, goodbye. We had a good run. Um.
I think it's just treachery, to be quite honest. Although if they kill this, it's real awkward. I'm 100% surprised that Hot Pocket has not come with the Calzone Pocket, just like a massive Hot Pocket size. Yeah, like it's just like, it's like a family size Hot Pocket. <laughs> hot Pocket family size. If you take all the like, the gross meats out of Hot Pockets, they're actually just fine. If you just little, if you just literally have like cheese and sauce and maybe like some not gross vegetables, I'd be totally fine with it. But like when you get the weird like hams and stuff and like the low quality pepperonis and stuff, it's just like, no, I'm good. Oh, I didn't even know Hot Pocket made a five cheese one. I should probably check that out. I'm going to check that Hot Pocket out. So wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, that'll do, right? I'm half the man I used to be. Let's get rid of your Sylvan Library, I guess. Take time with an Ulamog, cause he likes to annihilate. He likes to know he's half a mog he used to be. Mind stab throw, what's going on, buddy? Pizza calls calzones P zones, and I refuse to say it when ordering. One time, a waiter actually tried to get me to say it, but I wouldn't. It was a little. <laughs> Do you mean a P zone? And I'd be like, just whatever your calzone is, man. So the P zone. A calzone, please. <laughs> Sir, I can't place the order unless you tell me. Sower is in this cube, yes. God, what's with these hands? We have 17 lands and a, and a soul forge mystic. That's not what it's called. Mulligan. Uh, yeah, you know what? Sure. Okay. I like how my offhand comment about my dinner has become a calzone conversation. That's, that is what it is. Calzone conversation. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six. We go to five, then we go to eight. So we're definitely end of turn. Go gravy hasn't been created yet. Oh God, not go gravy again, Matthew. Hmm. I don't really want to discard here. I want to go to Temple Garden so we can play our things. I kind of like Time Walk and then next turn just play something for four if we get it. I think this is fine. We can also... Uh, Dig through time, right? Six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, we're one away. One away. I want to play Ancient Tomb here because if we hit a land, we can Treachery. I guess we can Beast within their land. Dig is too blue. Why don't you shut up, Minister by Angels? Ever think about that? God. Get out of my face. I would love to contend that little mana fellow, but unfortunately, they're not attacking with it, I, I, I imagine. I'm going to auto-yield to this because I never care about your stupid top. Take time with a wounded hand because it likes to heal. <laughs> I kind of just want to beast within the land right here. I'm, I'm crazy. I'm a maniac. 
Oh yeah, add that mana during your upkeep. See what you do with it. You just topped. You literally know exactly what they are. Oh my god. Get your life together. We really want to just draw Mirari's Wake here. That's what we want. Oh god, I wish I had a white mana so I can condemn that idiot. That, that'll do. Take time with a dragon lord. Cause it likes. I mean, we're going to take four here because the beast has exalted. So we go to eight. Um, But then we get to search for a thing. And if we hit a land, we can just play condemn. Or not condemn, uh, warm coil engine. Search for a thing means look with dragon lord Ojitai. Look with your dragon lord Ojitai. No blocks. Okay. Okay, Meng. They have a lot of fetch lands. <whistles> Connection. Channel. We don't have double green. Channel would be sick, though. We can go Ulamog, but then we die. So any order of these bad boys. Jump in the line. Warm coil engine in time. Okay, I believe you. I feel a daze here. I'll cry. Fencer, and then we're just dead. Oh, it just resolves. Seems good. Well, we're not dead yet. It's close, though. I feel like it's not great. Well, they didn't do anything. So now I feel better about it. Oh, all right. As long as they were like, I'll wait to see if he attacks. We won the game. Up a match, ladies and gentlemen. 1-1 one, one with our best cards stipulation. We'll see. We'll see if we can uh, keep the dream alive. How many colors is this deck? This deck is three. Um, I actually like this hand a lot. We have double blue, double white, double green. Yeah, keep definitely keep this hand. If we can hit five mana, we are good to go. I like to heal. I like to steal. I'm half the man I used to be. I got a tundra, which is two white, two blue, two green. Seems good. We're going to get this now because I don't want to just draw it. Sweet. Quadruple blue, green, and white. Do I? They just used the kryptonite phrase. <laughs> yeah, it's not good after this. It's all downhill from here. Okay. A mana drain would have been great there. Oh, quadruple blue green. Yeah, that's that's actually... I see. I get your joke. I get you. Dang it. That was supposed to be an ancient tomb. I mean, let's be honest. Ancient tomb next turn is still pretty good. If they tap out for something stupid, we can go bribery if we hit a land. That's something stupid. Come on, land. One time, one time, one time, one time, one time. Yes! <laughs> oh. Oh. 
Well, that stinks. Burr, 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 burr. I'm gonna just probably get wall of omens, I guess. This is the saddest bribery ever. Let's clip this dude. This deck is some legit blue white controlled nonsense, though. All right. Well, I don't want Finks. Probably just Resto. Resto's got to be better than. You sure did. <laughs> oh, man. I got so excited. We should have been just Morari's Wake. What land do they play? Tundra? Did they have Tundra in their deck? Oh, they drew the Tundra. All right. Tundra's done. Tundra is Dundra. Interesting. So I get to kill one of these. Okay. Well, that's a thing. <clears throat> Actually, if this resolves, we're in insane shape. Oh boy. Now they plus Jace again, so it's still we still get to only kill one, unfortunately. Yeah, I don't care about your stupid. So these are gonna be threes. Yeah, let's get rid of the Jace. They might have a condemn here, and looks like they do. I mean, we have Ulamog and Elspeth and Phyrexian Metamorph, so that's cool. Gideon? Was Gideon in the deck, too? No, Gideon was in their hand. Good to know. Five, so we take seven here. That's fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, isn't that sad? What are the Wrath effects? They have a Wrath of God in the deck. They have a Force of Will. They have Counterspell, Cryptic Command, Disallow. The problem is there's a lot of things they could have drawn here. One, two, three, four. They can also activate their Colonnade, which I think is actually fine. Because it means they're not doing anything else. We can also mm, steal it, maybe? Oh, they are doing this. This is actually great because now it's a. Uh, it doesn't die, but we do get to. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If we steal this and it becomes a land, how does that work? I always forget. Can we steal their colonnade? Five. I don't know. Treachery. Treachery falls off. That's sad. One, two, three. Four. This is a lot of mana. Two, three, four, five. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Ulamog. Get rid of Jace. And then we have. Hmm, we can actually copy this, but I don't think that's great for obvious reasons. All right, we can pass like this. All right, Ulamog wins the game. <laughs> Seems good. Bribery can probably come out 
So can treachery. What are we bringing instead? Ravages of War seems pretty busted against them. Banishing Light seems good against their Planeswalkers. Dahlia seems great against them. Uh, Eureka's probably good for us. Condemn seems okay against their land. Also, it's also good against Gideon. It's kind of nice to have. Um, I think it's actually okay. I like Eureka because we have a bunch of... I feel like we have more permanents than they do. Hmm. Five mana Walla Omens. Eh, not sure it's where I want to be. Everything else seems great. Actually, we can probably take out Linvala for Sun Titan. Sun Titan being able to get back Banishing Light, O-Ring, and Thalia seems a lot better once we do that. Leovold seems great if we can just add a white, or add a black, rather. I want to bring in the Leovold. And I want to bring in the Vindicate. Take out the Beast Within, because I think Vindicate's just better. And probably one more thing. Might just be might just be Metamorph. We didn't have a ton of things to copy. We can't copy their planeswalkers. So I think this is actually pretty sweet. I'm gonna Yeah, we're gonna run with this. We're on the draw. We can go land tax. Oh yeah, this is great. Eureka gets to put in Mirari's Wake, Avacyn, and uh, a banishing light for whatever they might hit. So one, two, three, four, six. We're gonna go up to seven cards. We're gonna play a land. So we can actually search for just one land and be okay with it. Hmm. I like this. We don't have any green, which is pretty frustrating, but we also don't wanna to fall too far behind here. <clears throat> green oh enlightened tutor that means we can pass go get something good with enlightened tutor and then put it into play with the eureka once we get the double green also i think us i think we're we're much better on two lands than they are presumably this would be great if we had like an artifact here um, Worm Coil seems fine. Oh, they had to discard. How nice. How nice. I don't want to. I don't want to fall too far behind. Like we can actually just start casting some of these things. Like we'll let them get a third land. God, land tax is so weird, right? Oh yeah, definitely gonna get rid of that guy. I'm almost tempted to play Swamp and kill their Tundra now. Because now we're getting to a good amount of lands here. I can see them disallowing this. Oh, they're going to force of will it. Getting rid of Sphinx's Rev. That's a two for one. I'm okay with it. One, two, three, four. We can also just play Worm Coil next turn, which is just fine. I think we just pass here. Cryptic command? Oh, no cryptic command. Okay. Okay. Hmm. 
I see. Well then, green. Blue, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, if we hit another one, two, three, four, five. God, where's the green mana? I'm just gonna pass here. We don't need the second blue right now. Uh, we banishing light a kitchen finks because it's one of like their three creatures. Make us both draw. That would be great. That's rude. Sure. Well, they are tapped out now. So if we do hit green, it's white. Well, next turn we get it, Avacyn. I guess that's a thing. Boy, this Eureka would have been great, but... Fashionable related to party green mana. They have to counter this, but it means Avison does not die. They're thinking of their modes with cryptic command. Uh, draw one card. Sure. That seems fine. That's just basically a five minute cryptic command. So generous. Thank you. Twister, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome back, buddy. Four months sub, two year watcher. We're catching up though. We'll get there. We'll get there eventually. I mean, they have seven cards. Did we overpay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we did. We could have kept a white up to... Actually, we couldn't keep a white up, but... If they counter this, we're probably just going to concede. Yeah, we're just going to go to the next game. We don't really have anything, and they have a million cards. Sun Titan would get back, like, nothing, so... It's funny, I think we got a little too greedy with our own land tax. Yeah, I'll keep this hand. <laughs> it's not great, but time walk mana drain. Like, how do you go wrong, right? Well, they went to five. So, you know. Waiting them out when they have two mana and start discarding. I don't think that's right because they get to sculpt like the perfect hand. Um, and as a control deck, getting rid of your chaff and getting all your relevant reactive cards is really scary. Blue source. <gasps> oh, glorious days. Now we get to keep up ma mana drain. M -m 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 mana drain. Don't even kid. Wow. We just have it all. We do need a third blue, so now we can go time walk into mana drain, which would be nice because then our next turn. You know what? You can have that. So now they have one blue and nothing else.
I'm gonna get rid of that. They missed the land drop. Peace out. Huh. This is the end, dude. This is the game, boys. <laughs> oh, man. Take an extra turn, like you do. Get him, boys. That... And that'll do it. Not too bad, not too bad. Our biggest regret's not taking the Bayou and the Scrubland. I think it still worked out pretty well, though. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Twitch and Patreon. Links are in the description below. And you can also check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. You will get 15% off with that affiliate link, and you get free shipping and free returns. And you can also check out um, Aaron Kane Custom Deck Boxes. Link is also in the description for that as well. So uh, you'll get... 10% off with the promo code Frank there. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Have a great thing.